Okay, so let's uh, solve uh, one more problem. Uh, now it's a uh, whole hanging frame. It's an entirely different problem now. So find uh, rotation at A and C and deflection uh, at C for the beam loaded as shown in the figure. So it's a different problem now. Why it's a difference? It's got a overhang. Now I drawn the elastic curve. Then uh, what I done is I have drawn the bending moment diagram. So when you draw the bending moment diagram, in case of the uh, overhang beam, so what you do is uh, you split the loads based on the region. So first you draw the bending moment for the uh, region AB. So for the load in the region AB, then you draw the bending moment diagram for the uh, load in the region BC. So what will happen is uh, when you draw the bending moment diagram for the region AB and when you ignore this one, it's something like a simply supported beam yeah, because you're not considering the self weight. So this part of the load will not be existing. So uh, basically this part is not that. So it's, it's, it's something like it's a simply supported beam. So you just draw the bending moment diagram for the load in the region AB. Then you draw it for or hang part. Then don't consider this. So let's do it. So very simple here. So I consider the load in the region AB, so 80 kN. So what is the reaction is a symmetrical. So it is a 40-40, 14 to 3 is 120. So it is triangular shape, 120 and 0. Now let's consider a 20 kN load. load. 20 into 3, 60 kN meter. And it decreases to A because you know that bending moment at A is 0. So this is hogging. And I given a sign convention negative because it's a hogging. Here it is a sagging, so I given a sign convention positive. Uh, you know that positive means downward arrow, negative means upward arrow. Very important for us in the conjugate beam. So what we do is now let's draw the conjugate beam. So let's draw the conjugate beam. So this is what is a dash. So a dash is a hinge. So I can write hinge only or simply support it. Now uh, when it is comes to the B, so B is an what will happen here it's an intermediate support so this is the free end this support and this is what is the intermediate support and per the conjugate beam theorem so intermediate support will have what will happen to the intermediate support it becomes a hinge so it becomes a hinge here and the free end becomes fixed so this is what is the conjugate beam b dash and c dash okay now let's uh, draw the loadings so that is nothing but m by e a diagram so let's have a loading so how is the loading here so i'll do it here i'll draw it separately i'll loading uh, conjugate beam okay now load it separately so how is the loading here so in the region uh, a b a b the bending moment is 120 and the ea is 2 so what will happen is divided by 2 comes so you take the load so this is 60 by ei so this is 60 by ea i'll give the downward arrow very important now go for the next part of the loading so in the case of uh, bc it is e high and the value is 16 so here it is 16 no change in the value upward arrow because it's the negative so 60 by ei 60 by ei no change now what, what will happen in the portion ba once again because it's a 2 ei so i need to divide it by 2 so it is 30 then it linearly increases okay uh, i'm not drawn in a scale so this is 30 by ei so this is 60 by a and this is 30 by here so this is what is the loading and this is what is the conjugate beam now everything is ready for us let's analyze it uh, in a simplest manner so let us first find the slope to find the slope what do you need to do uh, we need to have a reaction here so this is what is a v a dash and uh, uh, when you treat this one hinge what is happening is so here the reaction is acting so this is what is vb now analysis we will be analyzing in a two separate beam here a dash b dash then b dash and c dash so what will happen is the reaction at b dash will act as a load will act as a load for the support b dash and c dash so this is what you need to remember it so here two sub loads are acting if it is upward this will act in downward 
so depending on the directions of the forces okay so that means here you need to consider two reactions vb dash upward vb dash downward so only thing is vb dash is a reaction from ab span which will act as a load for the region b dash and c dash this is what we need to remember okay so let's do it now uh, so let's find the total load first so okay first uh, uh, we will be analyzing a dash b dash portion only for a dash b dash beam a portion total load is equal to total load so positive and the negative direction comes into the picture so take care of that one so total load is half into i'll write down the equation half into base is 6 height is 60 by ei half into base in height minus downward portion of the load so so you need to take care of this so downward portion of the load minus so half into base is uh, 6 into height is 30 by e i half into base into height so i'll not consider this part because this is what is a b dash so i'll be considering only this part of the loading so it works out to be how much it works out to be 16 to 3 uh, minus uh, 13 to 3 so it is a 90 by e i total load is 90 by e i and it is acting uh, downwards so this is the downward okay it is acting downward so very very important so total load is acting downward now acting on the beam now therefore uh, i want uh, va i want at what is the reaction because slope at a is required for me so i want va also otherwise directly i can use b and i can directly use a concept of b dash c dash so i don't i'm not interested in a dash since they are asked so i'm interested now so okay now find it out uh, va dash is equal to how we'll get the va dash take the moment that b dash is equal to zero so va dash into six is equal to so opposite action forces so if you want you can take everything now i'll be taking the whole thing because for my analysis so what is happen here half into same six into 60 by ei into um, my cg distance is three symmetrical one so minus half into the base into height 30 by here into cg distance what is the cg distance slice so one third of uh, six because one third of six that is the total span so the answer for this one is 60 by ei so answer is va dash is 60 by ei now um, you can get the vb dash uh, therefore summation of vertical force is equal to zero so what will happen va dash plus vb dash should be equal to total load so which implies vb dash is equal to 30 by ei so this is what is the answer we are getting vb dash is 30 by ei okay uh, one important note here now uh, this distance is 3 not 2 so 20 to 3 is uh, 16 not okay so that's the reason this diagram is perfect slope at uh, a slope at a is equal to uh, what is slope at a theta is equal to shear force at a dash in conjugate beam so which is equal to 60 by ei so so remember this 60 by ei now i'll find the slope at c to find the slope at c so i need to take the part of the beam only in the b dash c dash portion so for my better understanding i'll redraw it let me redraw so this is the portion i'll consider and now see the vb portion is acting upward that's a sign convention i got it so there's a force is acting in the downward direction so this is what is vb dash part is acting downward direction this part is acting upward direction so what is the shear force now so this is the portion um, i'll be right here as uh, b dash and uh, c dash now let's find slope at c so which implies theta c is equal to shear force at c dash in conjugate beam so what is the shear force at c dash in conjugate beam if you look at the diagram vb so vb is dash minus uh, rest of the forces half into so base is 3 and uh, height is 60 by ei so this is what is 60 by ei so 60 by ei so this one is 30 so 
so what is the answer we will getting as uh, 60 by 30 minus uh, so 60 by once again there is no change theta c is 60 by ea only okay uh, but negative sign so here because this is uh, 30 so this is uh, error on 3 so 90 minus 30 is a 60 so minus 60 you'll be getting it okay now deflection the last point we want deflection at c so very simple delta c is equal to bending moment at c dash in conjugate b so which is equal to so take the bending moment vb dash into uh, 3 minus half into base into height so into the cg distance is 2 third of 3 so if you calculate it how much you will get it 30 into 3 minus um, so 60 into 3 so that minus 90 by ei so this is what is the deflection so this is what is the deflection at uh, C okay so this is how we need to solve the Hoang part uh, thank you